Despite the absolute chokehold Honor of Kings has had on me lately, I still managed to play some awesome new mobile games and I want to share them with you all. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below what you're currently playing and let's get right into it. First up, I have been playing Zenless Zone Zero. Now you've been living under a rock if you haven't heard or seen anything about this game. It's by the makers of Genshin Impact. That should tell you all that you need to know. And this is another behemoth of a game. And I cannot believe the polish of this game. It is immaculate. This game's combat is definitely its shining thing where you constantly switch between characters, but it's very smooth, it's very fluid, it's very satisfying. And there's actually a lot of options when it comes to team building as well as synergies it's just awesome i like this way better than genshin impact and i feel like this company is really good at striking a balance that really makes free to play players happy while not having that feeling looming over you that you need to spend more money i haven't felt that at all and i've been playing this for several hours super good if you're not a believer in this kind of type of game or buy this company this might make you a believer yet the second game I have been playing is Duskfall. Now this is by the maker or creator of Moon Shades, which was a fantastic first person dungeon crawler, kind of in the retro area of things. And this is basically Moon Shades, but with a turn-based combat system, which is a bit more up my alley. I've grown to enjoy turn-based combat games way more as I've grown older. And this one seems pretty dang solid. Everything that you've enjoyed in Moonshades is here. It just feels like a slight kind of evolution of Moonshades and everything that the developer has learned about the genre and his game overall, and then improved it and then gave it a new combat system. So if you enjoy classic RPGs or RPGs that kind of have a modern feel, but also a classic twist, this is your ticket. I've also been playing a very mysterious game called Purple. Now I had no idea what to expect with this one. Even the game's icon doesn't tell you anything. So I don't know if that's good for branding or not, but I'm glad I took the plunge because this is a very clever puzzle game that plays off of the color purple. So each level that you load up, the entire goal is to make everything purple. And I couldn't believe how often this game would switch up these levels and come up with clever new puzzles and ideas that I had to solve. And it's like, it strikes like a perfect balance between being difficult, but not being frustrating. And I easily get frustrated during puzzle games and I'm very impatient because of my ADHD like nature So this actually struck a sweet spot for me and I've really loved it. I highly suggest it Last but not least I finally got around to playing through the pathless and I kind of avoided this game for quite a while Because it was on Apple Arcade and I no longer had my six-month free subscription that came with my phone so I figured I'd wait and see if it dropped on the App Store and it recently released on the App Store outside of Apple Arcade. So their contract must have finally ended and I'm so glad that I was able to just purchase this game and own it now. And the movement in this game and just kind of the art style and the sound design all mesh together into such a smooth and satisfying fluid experience. Like you hit this flow state where you kind of forget what you're doing. It's hard to describe, but you just run around and hunt stuff. And there's actually quite a unique storyline here too that I've been enjoying. It's not like blow your mind or anything, but it's enough to keep me going. I highly suggest it, definitely worth the 10 bucks. All right guys, those were some of the games that I managed to play despite playing Honor of Kings almost exclusively this past week. Please leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below some great mobile games for me to check out and for others to check out in the comment section down below. I love you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy.